Hey folks, good morning. Just a little short video here. I'm testing out my new uh, rebuilt fireplace. And um, just a little short run on this to see how it's going to do. I've got this uh, adapter fitting here. And this is going to screw on to my jug of, of oil. I'm going to do another drip feed mechanism. But this is going to go up. This is going to go in here into this pipe and then I'll probably go up over on the shelf over here and, and do something, hang the bottle up there and put a valve up there. I've also been working on this is just a demonstration unit uh, of a Homopolar series DC motor to show how the, D, the DC motors function. And uh, this is just one solid coil of wire here. Uh, so it, it's basically a series motor. But it's all just one coil that's linked end to end. So in other words, this this loops around. There's an iron core in here, and the wire loops around this iron core, and it just has a, a like a wooden core and this carbon fiber shaft. So there's no metallic parts except the bearing that's isolated away from the the electrical field. And then just a single magnet here, just to show. That's just for educational purposes. Uh, and I'll maybe put a drawing of this in my patent application for the new type of, of uh, electric DC motors that I've been working on. And that's what I'm doing today. Uh, just wanted to say hi to everybody. I hadn't made a video in a long time. I apologize for that. I've been really going through a, a difficult time. Uh, you know, fighting with the polar vortex, and then it got hot, and um, I've had some things just going wrong here and there. I've had difficulty with my finances. Uh, this, this may be my last few videos here in the next couple days, uh, because uh, I lost my major support on Patreon, and uh, I'm having trouble with PayPal. They're holding my money. And it might not get here in time before I lose my internet. So then it'll just be stuck there and I'll, I won't even be able to log on uh, and get it. So, um, yeah, I don't know what I'll have to do on that. I might just have to refund that. It was it was $100 and uh, after their fee comes down to like $95, but that's it. $95 that I have that I can't even access and so I may have to just refund it to uh, to my patron Will that that sent that money to me is so uh, I consider him a good friend uh, a person I don't even really know but he's a good man and I know that he's struggling with with karma issues like I am and we just want to make the world a better place and try to repair our own karma you know so maybe in our next lifetime we won't be stuck in such a world that that we have to fight and struggle so desperately just to survive and and have to work so hard your life should be easier than what it is for most people and uh, you know, life is really easy for some people just because of where they're born, a situation that they're born in. And I could have taken advantage of the situation I was born in if, uh, if I'd have been a better person, maybe. So, I guess I was just a bad kid. I, I always questioned authority. I questioned reality. I was always asking why, you know, especially if I, if I didn't agree with something. You know, I'm sitting here looking at the TV, and, I, and I'm seeing these children throwing rocks at tanks. And I'm wondering, why? You know, why don't, why don't we go in there and save these children and so they don't have to throw rocks at tanks? Why are we letting these tanks invade these lands and, and, and uh, persecute these little children, these little Palestinian children? Oh, wait a minute, those are our tanks. Uh, the country I'm living in is, is supporting the people that are that are doing these things and abusing these children and 
and letting people starve to death and you know this is my country we tell bums to go get a job we let people die and freeze to death out on the street that's sad to say but that's just the state of the world and I guess as a child it wasn't up to me to judge they always tell me you know judge not lest ye be judged but have I not been judged from the day I was born? Was I not rejected even as a baby? Even as a baby. My mother's first words were, Ugh, not another boy. If your own mother doesn't love you and doesn't want you, then how could the world expect for you to love it? You know, how does the world, how would the world expect me to not judge it? <laughs> We look at the world, that's what you do as a journalist. You know, when you're a journalist, you look at the world and you, you see what's wrong with it and you, you start pointing these things out to people. So anyways, the, the big problem here is that, that free energy is real and it's been suppressed so that we all are forced to continue under a system that's just not fair. It's not even really a legitimate system. You got a handful of oil companies that are in charge of everything. You know, a handful of oil companies, weapons companies. In World War II, the people that invented TNT just sort of hooked up with the bankers and sat on the sidelines. You know, like Ozzy Osbourne used to say, politicians only start the wars. They never go and fight. Wait. Till their judgment day comes then they will see the light or something like that I don't know I don't remember all the words to those songs but yeah we used to sing them you know I used to be a, a, a huge fan of Black Sabbath and uh, Ozzy Osbourne I still like those songs the world didn't change you know uh, the politicians still send foot soldiers to do their work, dirty work for them. We still don't have world peace. and um, You know, I mean, I can't, I'm not going to complain about it now because I'm, I'm not a kid anymore. So I don't really worry too much about the future. And I don't have any children of my own. So it's no point in worrying about the future anymore as far as that goes. But I just need a little bit of money to survive so I can keep feeding my cats. And uh, what a tragedy that I never really found a home for the talents that I have. But I do have friends out there in the world. And uh, I know that there's a lot of good people that do want to make a difference. That do want a better world. This is Organite, by the way. Um... This was sent to me by my friend Michael Ellis, a really talented artist and a very creative person. And um, I've never met this guy, but uh, I can tell he has a good soul. And uh, this is very interesting. It's, it has like shavings of aluminum, I guess, is in there or some other type of metal. And... Uh, it was made with a solo cup. I can see the imprint of solo on there. But Organite is, is a true mystery because we still don't really understand ether concepts and how it works. We still don't really know what time is. We don't know what time is, how time actually works. But uh, this is really interesting. There's a appears to be a copper nail on the top, and a a nickel or steel, stainless steel, uh, maybe aluminum nail on the bottom. And there's aluminum shavings, and there's different layers too. So there's a bottom layer and a top layer, and then the middle layer. So this may actually work like an earth battery to pull the you know telluric charges. Basically, it's, it's electrons or free energy just out of the atmosphere or from the surrounding ether. But uh, I'll just show his label here if I can read it. It's Ellis Etheric Tech. Pretty cool. So there's resin and there's, there's different minerals in here. But I also noticed that 
he's got some uh, some diodes wrapped around this nail and the diodes sink down into the other the elements of metal that are down in there kind of neat here there's like an empty capsule that he glued into the top here and I thought that's kind of neat you know it's it's almost symbolic it's like saying hey look I'm drug free we don't even need any drugs to 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 enjoy life or to to study the ether or to open our minds and uh, we need to be nicer to our to ourselves and to our bodies and to our health so it's kind of neat to put an empty capsule on there um, I really don't do the man-made drug thing I I think that the opiates are killing people and uh, I want to live a little while longer still. I want to enjoy my life, and I want my friends to be here too. So, any friends are out there, you know, if you're if you're hooked on some really bad pills or something like this. I, I know I've been struggling with alcohol addiction myself, and I just want to say thank you to everybody that has been, uh, you know, helping me to stay basically alcohol free since 2010. December 2010, I, I decided I'd. You know, dying with cirrhosis of the liver, and I swelled up really huge. I had edema, massive swelling of edema in my ankles and my, my abdomen. And I went to the doctor. It was Dr. Woods at the time. I think he's retired. But uh, he said, brother, you're the sickest man I've ever seen. He said, you, you might have 24 hours to live. He said, uh, if anything changes, just, you know, go get an MRI. You need a liver transplant right away. But. <laughs> it's a little late to get on the list you know and he basically just sent me home to die and uh, it's just just a lot of hard work to uh, of, of eating better and, and prayer that, that even kept me alive so and uh, I feel like this is an important things that I've learned uh, the things I've learned I need to share. I, I want to write a book. I've started on a book. I've started writing on some patents because I want to to start a motor company. I still want to you know, I still want to uh, produce these machines and put them out into the world. And you're just talking about these things is not gonna you don't you know having a television special about free energy, you know, they they've had television specials about free energy for the last 50 years and uh, no, nothing actually changes in the world unless we actually get up and do and make the change ourselves uh, if we want clean energy we have to build the machines and put them and actually use them you're gonna have to buy some solar panels if you want free energy you have to work and pay for the money you know you're gonna have to pay for your free energy so it's not really free but clean energy, I guess, is the point that I'm trying to get to. We could have clean energy. We could recycle everything. We could have hydrogen power. We could have we could have an economy that's based on faith instead of fossil fuels and poisons. We right now we have an economy that's based on drug addiction and addiction to toxic chemicals and oil. And we need to change that to a faith-based system where you know we're working for each other in the sense of because it's the right thing to do or because we care about our children and we want them to inherit a better world we want to leave behind a better world than what we inherited not a more polluted world not a not a hotter or colder world or or, or whatever also uh just with our the system the system of everything you know why is it so hard for for poor people to advance out of their situation or why is it so difficult for uh, inventors to get the help that they need for their inventions you know that's one thing I actually wanted to do a long time ago I wanted to create you know like they have this invention submission corporation well it's just a scam you know that they're just gonna they're just gonna take your money and if they like your idea, of course, they'll just steal it and market it themselves like that. That's what they did to the, the, the fidget spinner lady. So, you know, I guess I just depressed that I'm not teamed up with the right person that, 
that is serious about getting a patent or serious about putting products on the market and making money um, you know I guess I, I don't have the right qualifications I haven't even tried to get a job for anybody else uh, I wanted a, I wanted to have a partner you know I don't want to be a, a slave to somebody else but I guess we're all slaves to a system that's that's just a not not really a, a, a fair system so maybe we'll just kind of gradually change things and improve that I'm not sure how but that's about all I can hope for as far as that goes all I can do is keep doing what I do which is invent things and just build toy models to demonstrate or to try to educate and um, you know just do what the the purpose that I saw when I had my personal revelations is that uh, I just have to keep working just keep working to uh, you know maybe that's my only purpose in life is to just educate maybe I will never profit from my own ideas maybe I will never be allowed to be successful or I will never be the one that's you know I'll never be the king I'll never be the one that's that's loved or in charge of anything <laughs> I'm just me and I'm just here by myself alone in this world but um, I know I have friends out there I wish I was I wish I was closer to them I wish somehow I could be closer to my friends and uh, but for now, this is all I've got. I've got my, my inventions and my ideas, and I've got maybe 10 more days of, of YouTube left. And so I'm going to try to make a lot of videos. This ended up being a lot longer video than I expected it to be. I mainly just want to come on here and say thank you for the, the friends that I do have out there because uh, life is often very difficult for me. I, I live off grid. This is why I built this crude looking thing here with the oil drip feed and um, you know I just uh, I don't know what else to say I, I guess that's it for this video just want to let y'all know that I do have some more videos coming and uh, again I wanted to say thanks to, to Michael Ellis for sending me this it's really beautiful. I can I can feel the energy, the love coming through from this, and uh, I'm gonna do some experiments with this, but especially this one too. I'm gonna I'm gonna hook my scope up to this, and I want to hook uh, a voltmeter to it and see what I get. So Michael Ellis, you know, thank you, brother. I wish you good luck on your uh, with your uh, with your arts and uh, and hope you enjoy life and I hope that the future does get better I, I hope that this world eventually will stop burning fossil fuels and start taking care of the environment so that you and potentially any children that you might have will have a better world so Anyways, just want to say thanks for watching.